How do you guys? Um, <laughs> this is gonna be a right slapdash uh, session uh, as I'm running really late. Today was meant to be my day because um, I've not been on the bank for a couple of weeks now. So we've had a funeral uh, and then preparation for and my wife's 40th birthday, which is great. Um, and then unfortunately yesterday, my, uh, my daughter even came downstairs and found, um, due to all the hot weather and so forth, the um, the oxygen levels are depleted in the in the pond and all the fish are up on the surface. So yesterday morning at 7.30, I was in my boxer shorts in the garden, fishing the fish out, putting them into another tub um, and getting my aerator on the go and reviving them. And thankfully, we didn't lose any of them. Got it in time, thanks to Imogen. So, um, yeah, so I've had to finish that this morning. I'm now going to uh, dash off down to the River Severn. Um, for those of you that know, or sorry, for those of you who go barbel fishing, um, you will know where I am. And if you know where it is, keep it to yourself, please. Uh, because the, the local tackle dealer there is always saying about, you know, people put stuff up on social media and channels and sort of shout out the exact spot. And then every Tom, Dick and Harry comes down, they're getting problems. So um, yeah, if you know where it is, just keep it to yourself, guys. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, I'm going down for my very first barbel. Um, I'll be trying a new technique and a new style um, in regards to, so I'll be trotting for barbel, um, which I've never done before. Um, the only thing I've ever done really is ledger or feeder fished. And the last time I was after barbel, I did feed a fish um, and nothing came to that. So uh, I'll be trotting baits through the water, in my waders, in the river. Um, so it's, it's gonna be all good fun because it, it's it's something I've never done. So it's got, it's, and I, I've promised Drew, Drew, I did say on my daughter's life, I will catch a barbel. So whether it be this session, the next or the next, I will catch a barbel. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how it goes. Catch you in a bit. I'm actually getting in the water with these bad boys on since I uh, brought them last year. Um, we were watching um, a few reviews to be found on the River Seven through Facebook and the Facebook pages, uh, River Seven Barbell pages, and everywhere is saying it's low. So, what everyone has been saying on those pages is to fish the fast water. So, uh, that is uh, that. Oh, it's a bit stupid. Basically, over that back bit there is the faster flowing water. As I come forward to there, there's like a big pool there. Uh, slows up further down, it gets faster again, but goes a lot shallower. So, um, fishing about a foot over depth. Um, trial and error for me, never did it before. So, uh, I've got some luncheon meat, some maggots, and some bread. Um, I'll keep trotting it through and adjust the uh, adjust the depths as needed. But um, yes, let's have a go. first freaking barbell, it's a really little and I don't care, but just before the take, I don't know if you can hear it, my GoPro is proper freaked out. God damn you GoPro! Um, I'll, bring the, I'll bring the camera to the fish, I can get the fish in the water, um, but uh, yeah, first barbell. I know this is only a tiny barbel for you lads, but this is my first ever barbel, so you have to forgive me. Because <laughs> I'm... The 
tiny little barb, I don't know. Get too close to these stones or rocks, but I'm absolutely chuffed if it's first ever barbel. It's getting released. Thank you very much, Mr. Barbel. Gracie mine out. Awesome. Being proud today. It's not about the size. Little minter. <laughs> oh, let's get him back. So, guys, that's the end of today's session, and I'm really pleased to say that I've caught a barbel, my very first barbel ever. Um, <laughs> it's not a monster. It's actually probably classed as a micro barbel. Um, but the, the thing is, I wanted to catch a barbel, and I've been and caught one. Uh, and a new style and a new technique for me as well. So I've never gone trotting for, for any fish in the river. I've really only ledger fished or uh, feeder fished. So yeah, I was actually in the river, in my waders, which is a, a new experience for me, which is very weird. But, um, uh, and yeah, um, I tried uh, fishing with worm, I tried fishing bread flake, I tried fishing, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, halibut luncheon meat, and nothing was happening. And what won it all was a big old bunch of maggots <laughs> so um, I think probably I could have scaled down because uh, I was missing a lot of bites so maybe the hook was too big I was fishing a, uh, a size 6 um, Drennan size 6 um, with a um, what was it a 5 SSG float um, that I was running down from so um, the actual style that I was using was spot on maybe I just need to um, fine-tune it a little bit for that area anyway but um, no, I'm really pleased. Uh, I didn't get there till about 12 o'clock because I've had issues with my pond at home. So having to sort that day all day yesterday and then uh, this morning, I didn't get to the river till about 12 o'clock. Um, so that really only gave me two hours, two hours and 15 minute window. So I was really dubious. When I got there, I mean, I've already seen on the, um, the Facebook pages for the River Seven and Barbell Angling um, that the river was running low, which you'd expect in this, these temperatures. Um, so. Um, I thought it was going to be against me uh, from when I first set off this morning, but perseverance got me down there and I've had my first barbel, so absolutely made up. Um, I was, oh, I've got to be fair, I was grinning all the way back home, I was grinning, even though I'd only had the one barbel and a little tiny chub, um, I've had a barbel. It's all good, it's all good. I just need to get bigger now, so um, yeah. Um, next, next couple of videos, I, I'm going to stay off the um, pike fishing, I think, for a few weeks. Um, and uh, try and concentrate on this, this barbel malarkey and try and get bigger uh, and then maybe uh, when the weather cools down a bit more go for the pike but um, yeah really good really good in a bit cheeky little bugger 